Hello everyone, Jai Hind. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, in this video, I am going to share that how can we get a job as a software engineer in KPIT Technologies company. I have mentioned few points here and I'll elaborate each point one by one, which will help you increase your chances of landing a job as a software engineer in KPIT company or any other tech firms. First of all, let's understand that what is a software engineer. So a software engineer is a professional who applies engineering principles, practices to design, develop, test and maintain software systems and applications. Software engineers are involved in various stages of the software development lifecycle from initial concepts and requirement analysis to deployment and ongoing maintenance. This is like a summary of software engineer, but in detail, I'll provide you each like I'll elaborate each point and provide you a brief detail that how can we get a job as a software engineer in KPIT technologies and any other tech companies. So let's start to this video. But first of all, if you are new to this channel, then do subscribe it. If you like the video, then do hit the like button. And if you have any query regarding software engineer or KPIT technologies or any other query regarding jobs or preparation, then you can comment your queries in the comment box. I'll make sure to answer to your queries. Let's start. So the first one is like about KPIT. So KPIT Technologies Limited is a leading global technology company that specializes in providing solutions to the automotive and mobility industry. With a strong focus on digital transformation, KPIT offers services in areas of embedded system, so enterprise IT and digital businesses. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria for software engineers. So uh, about, talking about the education and eligibility, to be eligible for a software engineer role at KPIT, you need to have a bachelor's degree in engineering, preferably in computer science, IT, electronics or related fields. KPIT also considers candidates with a master degree in computer application, which is MCA. The minimum academic requirement is 60% aggregate or equivalent CGPA in your qualifying degrees. Now talking about the technical skills, like as a software engineer at KPIT, you should possess strong technical skills in programming languages such as C, C++, Java and Python. Knowledge of data structure, algorithms and software design patterns is essential. Additionally, familiarity with databases, web technologies or cloud computing platforms is desirable or is preferable. Now. The third point is interview preparation. So the interview process at KPIT typically consists of multiple rounds, which includes the first one online test, second one technical interview and the third one HR interview. So in the online test, this round like assess your aptitude, logical reasoning and coding skills. In the technical interview, you will be evaluated on the basis of your technical knowledge, problem solving abilities and project experience, whatever you have in your college or in your company. The HR interview focuses on your communication skills, personality and cultural fit with the organization. Now, the point is to prepare like about the preparation of the resume and application. So the first one is preparation tape to prepare for the interview process. Start by practicing coding problems on platforms like Lead Code, Hacker Rank, or Geeks for Geeks. Brush up on your data structure, algorithms, and problem solving techniques. Familiarize yourself with KPIT's products, services, and industry trends to demonstrate your knowledge during the interviews. Now, talking about the resume building, your resume is the first impression you make on the hiring managers, that is HM. Ensure that your resume is well structured, error free and highlight your relevant skills, projects and internships. Use keywords from the job description to tailor your resume accordingly. Quantify your achievements and contributions to make your resume stand out. Talking about the applications, KPIT offer various entry level positions for freshers such as graduate engineer, trainee, software engineer, 
basically software engineer trainee you can apply for these positions through kpit official website or job portal like linkedin nokri or indeed i have already mentioned kpit job portal in the description box also so you can also reach there and search for the jobs as per your skills and experiences keep an eye out for campus placement drives and off campus hiring events organized by kpit now talking about the salaries and growth opportunities so as a fresher the average salary at kpit ranges between 3 to 5 lpa to 6 lpa depending on your skills and performance during the interview process kpit offers competitive compensation packages opportunities for growth and development the company provides training programs mentorships and exposure to cutting edge technologies to help you grow professionally if talking about the growth you can get a job up to 12 to 16 lpa in your second to third year if you have a good communication technical and quantitative knowledge now talking about the stay informed or the conclusion part then getting a software engineer job at kpit technologies limited as a fresher requires combination of strong technical skills effective preparation and well crafted application by following these steps outlined in this video and staying persistent you will increase your chances of landing your dream job at kpit remember success comes to those who are willing to put in the hard work and never give up good luck with your journey so this is all about the video if you find this video helpful then please like share and subscribe to our channel for more career related content stay tuned for more exciting videos in the future thank you thank you all